Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about the wave function in uh, one dimension box uh, and uh, also generalize that into two, two dimension and three dimension. And also, I'm going to talk about the energy level of uh, a particle in a one dimension box. Uh, so, this is a particle in a 1D box. Um, so let, let us take uh, x, so let's say this is a, um, so the particle exists between 0 and a and the potential of the particle within this region is 0 whereas the potential of the particle outside the region is infinity. So the potential function of this uh, potential function of this particle in the region is given as zero if infinity otherwise. So let us uh, go back to the condition what I uh, derived uh, in the previous equation. Uh, d square psi by dx square plus k square psi equal to 0. So we have to take a psi function which satisfies this condition. So the psi function psi of x is a sine kx plus b cos kx. So this is a, a wave function which satisfies this condition. So we will take this um, a psi function as a function where we will find the wave function of this particle in a one dimension um, region by taking the boundary condition. So here, uh, the psi function, we know that um, psi of 0 is equal to 0 and psi of A is equal to 0. So this is the boundary condition. Uh, for this one dimension um, uh, in the particle in one dimension uh, so that means uh, you know when uh, when uh, x is 0 basically psi of x is 0 so if you apply this boundary condition that we will be able to uh, find the constant um, I mean we will try to find a constant a and b uh, and we can go from there to get this uh, wave function um, so let me see so psi of 0 is 0. So applying that, so we, we will have uh, a sine 0 plus b cos 0 is equal to 0. So this is 1, this is 0, then it means b is equal to 0. So we found the value of b by applying the boundary condition. So we will apply the second boundary condition which is psi of a is equal to 0. Then uh, it will become a sine k x k a plus we know b is 0. Uh, so it becomes 0. right? So a sine k a equal to 0. So um, for this, uh, for uh, this uh, a sine k a to be zero, either a is, is equal to z it should be zero, or sine k a should be uh, equal to zero. So if a is equal to zero, then we will not be able to basically solve the wave function. So we will look into the condition where sine k a is equal to zero. So if uh, sine k a is equal to zero, then it means. Uh, k a is equal to either 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. Or in other words, it can be written as n pi. So k is equal to n pi by a. So this is the one I derived in my previous video to stepwise uh, derive the time and uh, time uh, independent Schrodinger's equation. So we can basically apply this k is equal to this uh, to that equation. Um, 
n square pi square a square is equal to 2m e h bar square. Um, so e is equal to h bar square n square pi square by a square 2m. Uh, so this is uh, e1 basically is equal to h bar square 1 square pi square by 2a square m um, so e n is nothing but n square e1 so this is the energy state again I'm going to write this e n is equal to n square e1 right See, let's take um, uh, the psi function uh, 0 to a so the probability of finding the particle somewhere between 0 and a is 1 right um, so we know the psi function is a sine we found the value of um, k that is n pi a into x so by applying this right by uh, by substituting the uh, wave function here so we will know 0 to a a square sine square n pi a x dx which is equal to 1 um, so this is a simple trigonometry normalization, uh, not, not normalization, trigonometry simplification. Um, so we can uh, write a sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. Um, so applying this here, uh, so we will get uh, 0 to a, a square by 2 dx minus um, 1 by 2 cos 2 n pi by a x dx 0 to a equal to 1 again if you simplify this it will become 0 and uh, small a so so this is uh, 0 to a a square by 2 dx is equal to 1 so this is a square by 2a equal to 1, a square is equal to 2 by a, which means a is equal to square root of 2 by a. So we found the, uh, we found the constant, uh, the value of constant a. So if we apply this um, into the psi function, so this is the psi function, um, 2 a sine n pi by a x. So this is the psi function. This is the wave function which represents the particle within that 0 to a. Um, I'm, I'm going to store this also here. So let us uh, let us uh, see how this um, psi function is gonna be for the various various uh, wave function, right? So this is uh, zero to a. This is psi of one. So this is going to be like this, right? Uh, this is the wave function. I mean. Uh, so again here this is for psi of 2 this is going to be 2 pi 